It's as if I never baked at all. That's how well I did on keeping the <laughs> um, spaces just properly clean. Lol. Anyway, uh, I wrote a blog post also, which I will post in the description box. And... <laughs> If you're ever wondering how my morning slash afternoon is going, you know, because it had to rain today, so they don't want to go outside. Lovely. I need two coffees before I do anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have my first. Is a name that spells I got a lot done though. Finished my blog. Want to see what it looks like? <laughs> this is my new blog that's up now. Where's my poopy car? I also posted the link um, on all my social media websites but this is it yes I'm sorry for the graphics but it is needed to show what I'm trying to show I use scriptures And God has a lot to say about marriage, that's for sure. As you can see. What is this called again? Zotic. Zotic. We talk about children. We talk about how uh, the true femininity is being lost, how masculinity is being lost. Uh, everyone has forgotten the biblical order of the family and then I end it like that so you guys can go and read it if you want and you can choose to um, add me to your emailing list and we can email each other or snail mail each other because that's my ultimate plan is to get snail mail up and going and just basically grow a movement of women who believe in the traditional values and virtues and God and just start a movement because we need to start writing our representatives we need to start showing up in person we need to start doing something about this. And so I thought this would be a good idea. Start with blogs, get people talking, get people angry a little bit. Mostly I want them to go into prayer to God and ask God, what should we be doing? And if you see my post, that's probably God speaking to you saying, listen, this woman's trying to do the right thing. Help her. So, until I, I uh, post another post or blog and you guys check it out. Dang it, this fly. Every day. I think I'm also going to try daily to discuss this issue and bring forth some information so that people can see where I'm getting this information from. Mostly I just post it in my blog and you guys can go and Google search this yourself. It's real easy and simple. Uh, but I provided the information because I thought it would be better if I just put it in there so it'd be easier for you guys just to see it firsthand. But 
if you put it all together, every single blog post that I've been doing about feminism, if you lay it out in a row, you start to see a pattern of decline since the 1950s. More like since the 1960s. 1950 was the best time, uh, I believe, for women. Uh, also, there were some bad laws, of course, but while there was some bad things going on in the 1950s for women, there were also some very good things going on for women. For instance, men were more uh, obligated to marry a woman, buy a house, and provide for the family rather than just running off as soon as welfare came into action, right? Men uh, had responsibility once they had a kid with a woman. So it wasn't like they were liability free anymore, but now they're liability free. If they're on welfare and poor, they can't pay their uh, child support. They're liability free, basically. And I don't know how it goes in the States, but up here in Canada, I have never heard of anybody not paying child support uh, and ending up in jail because, I don't know, it happens all the time up here. Nobody ends up in jail for it, even though it is a debt. I mean, I know it does happen, but I've never personally heard of it ever happening to anyone I personally know. Most of the time, how it goes is the woman will just take sole custody and go on welfare to pay for the child. And then she'll have to remain single to keep the same benefit. What is wrong with these flies every day? Aren't flies only supposed to live for one day? Why are these two, the same two that was here yesterday? Bugging me. Anyway, so just check out the blogs. Uh, it goes into more detail about like abortion rates, divorce rates, um, marriage rates, economy, uh, cost of living, uh, home value, blah, 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 blah. It goes through all of it. Like I get real deep. Anyways, guys, it's finally quiet. So I'm going to go and start lunch. And I was thinking about baking some cookies today because, well, I need to do something to get my mind off of stuff. As you guys know, I have some personal things going on and I really need the distraction. So I'm thinking I'm just going to do some cookies. And everybody likes my cookies. So. And I got a new cookie rack that I really want to use. That too. Yeah. And then I'm going to make some cornbread for Johnny. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cornbread. Interesting. All right. I got to go. Um, I, I hope you all stick around for whatever else I may decide to post and do. Look at that. Look at that in the background. Isn't that? Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But anyway, um, tomorrow I have to iron. <sighs> oh no.